culture is power, history is knowledge. Always leave your thoughts and comments. Tell me what you think. But let's talk about Chicano. I always like to talk about the word Chicano. It's still out there. And people thinking that, you know, Chicano is just for Mexican-Americans. Or to me, right when I watch videos and read, the only time you see where it says, you know, Chicanos for Mexican American is when you type up what is a Chicano, say Mexican American, it might say, uh, you know, someone who's understanding they are mestizo nowadays, but it's always been titled Mexican American, and even Mexican Americans still just believe a Chicano is just a Mexican American, but. When I, when I do my, you know, reading and watching videos, like, I don't believe that it's ever was just for Mexican Americans. And for one, it's like, okay, if you think about, you know, the movement in the 70s, and if there was somebody who was a Central American, El Salvador, uh, Ecuador, Nicaragua, do you believe that they were like, no, nah, you guys can't join this, you're not Mexican American? Nah, I don't think that that probably likely happened because they understood we're all the same people. A Chicano is somebody who understands their identity of being mestizo, you know, and being able to be a part of the United States system and being able to understand that we are here in the United States and have a different a way of being able to uh, to go against the system, the, the government, you know? Being Chicano, we, we understood that now, like, okay, we're here, we're in the United States, and this is the country and nation that we are now relevant of. Yes, we are Mexican, but we are no longer in Mexico, and we're not facing that situation this is a situation that we are facing now so as chicanos they understood <clears throat> hey look we are people of this continent we are not just anybody we're not just some random immigrants that just came here we've been here <clears throat> whether if we're central or south america especially when you watch like the 30th anniversary of the chicano art uh legacy uh, I showed it before, the guy on there, he's Peruvian, and he's like, I'm Chicano, like, he understands his uh, culture, his, he was a part of the Chicano movement, he was, uh, he understood who he was as a people, who we are as a people, and being Chicano is about someone who has the mind of being like an activist, you know, now, that's what a lot of uh, Chicano had a lot of power to it. You know, Chicano means power. And so to me, and even I would give it, not even to me, but to the understanding that like, Chicano is not just a Mexican American. And if you just believe it is, I would I, I say, nah, it's not just Mexican American. Chicano is someone who is understanding of their identity while living in the system of the United States and being able to receive education and acknowledgement of living in the United States and being able to go against the system and the government in protest and of knowledge of power by having mayors and community of Chicanos being able to have our own political parties that they try to start organizations and we don't have it's not going to be done it don't have to be done like you know the family the people in Mexico the fight is different being Chicano being a revolutionist a lot of when a lot of those videos I don't know if some of you guys paid attention you could go to my playlist and it says Chicano Studies. There's plenty of videos there that I organized together that you could watch about, you know, so many Chicanos 
they made those videos in the 90s, early 2000s. <clears throat> and they're very interesting to watch and uh, to pay attention to. I watch them a couple of times. And, you know, Chicano is more than, it's not just somebody who is Mexican-American. Yeah, Central American could be a Chicano. Somebody who is South American could be Chicano. Especially when you understand the Chicano, what the Chicano identity and label was created about. Not just Mexican-American. But it was dominantly Mexican-American, so it got, you know, just thrown under as Mexican-American. But what do you think, Chicanos? Am I wrong about that idea? Or do you think that, because you have to think about who made Chicano relevant, so you can't just say, nah, do you believe that I'm wrong on the assumption of being Chicano, that it's just for Mexican-Americans? that when it came out, when it became real popular by the Chicano movement, that they only said it's for Mexican-Americans, can somebody show me? And or tell me where to go, where they believe that it's just for Mexican-Americans, or they can't, you can't be Central or South America to be Chicano, that are, that Central or South Americans were not a part of the Chicano movement. So it's a, uh, Chicano uh, understanding of power of the identity of the revolution of being able to receive intelligence and being able to have the education state of mind to go against the system of the United States by protests and organizations and <clears throat> as you, you know Chicano means power I know a lot of you guys seen those signs but other than that, Chicanos, always leave your thoughts and comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you thought. Always, if you haven't, go check out my videos. Always sharing my thoughts and point of view. Learning history. So, peace out. Culture is power. History is knowledge. And if some of you guys are always uh, show these pictures all the time, but because I know a lot of people never really seen them, never go through them, never look up the basics. So I always like to share these pictures a little bit more when I talk.